Hey guys, it's November already. We have a weekend off. We're gonna use it to go on a short, short trip to Austin. Austin. Yes. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes. So what time is it, guys? It's 8 a.m. It's 8 a.m. and we're ready to go. Look at this. We brought some blankets because we're staying at a friend's place. So we're on our way. And look who got coffee. <laughs> After two hours, we have our first stop, and that's because Andrea wanted to go to the restroom. But it's honestly good because I can walk, I can stretch my legs, and everybody can just go in case to the restroom, so we don't have to stop another time. Finally seeing some big buildings after three months, girls. Is that what you like, huh? <laughs> What did you just ask, say, Zoe? Man, it feels so good to see people running and walking outside. It's just so alive. So European, so alive. Europe for a weekend. <laughs> Here in Austin. Uh, today I have Zoe, Alexandria. Alexandria! <laughs> <laughs> it's Andrea. <laughs> but it's all good. <laughs> Cut. Cut. Take two. Uh, so, Zoe, Andrea, yeah. and Lucy. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what I've just learned is they all speak different languages, and I'm pretty sure they're talking about me in a foreign language, and I can't understand any of it. Uh, but we're really excited to be here. Um, there's going to be a lot of activities today. Uh, definitely get to explore the city a little bit. Um, there's so much to do. There's so much culture here in Austin. It's a, it's a very unique experience. So whether you're a San Angelo follower or a follower from Europe, uh, it, it is very unique because um, it's very different from West Texas. It's very different from other cultures. And this place has kind of become a mixing ground um, for really all of these different cultures and ideologies. There's different religions here, there's different belief systems, political views. Uh, the politics of Austin have really taken off. There's um, kind of this big tech movement going on here where you have large tech companies from, you know, like Google, Amazon, uh, Indeed. I mean, all of these big companies are moving here. And now um, you're one of them, right? So I'm part of the corporate movement. <laughs> uh, and, and so that's actually caused a lot of backlash here in the city. There's the, the, no, the neighborhoods over here. What's going on is they're raising up taxes and basically driving people out. So another thing you guys are going to see is a lot of homeless people. A lot of people. Uh oh, are, we need to be careful. <laughs> well, they're, they're not like aggressive, but there's just a lot of uh, the, the word they use is gentrification. I don't go that far with it. Um, but that's essentially is where, where your, your wealthier districts are, are driving down like middle class and, and, and pushing out the lower class. And so that's certainly apparent um, with as fast as this place is moving. Uh, so right now Google's building another skyscraper next to the one they already have. And that, I mean, it's gonna create a lot of jobs, but it creates pe jobs for people who have that background, have a tech background, can, the, knowledge, can, the and knowledge and experience to get there. So it's not like an opportunity for everyone who just lives in the community. You know, you have to, they will bring in a lot of people from other countries and from different areas. And so uh, a lot of diversity comes here, but there's trade-offs with everything that happens. Um, so if you want to be a part of Austin, go get your education and <laughs> study. Um, learn technology, learn a skill, learn something that is going to be current in the next 10 years. Don't learn something that is, is going to fade away because automation is happening. Uh, Are you talking to me now with uh, accounting majors? <laughs> if we can replace accountants, we, you know. <laughs> no, it, it, it's, not, it's not like that, but it's just, um, everything's changing. You have to be willing to adapt. You have to be willing to change with the economy, with the environment around you. Um, if, if you can't move like that, if you can't learn quick, and if you're not open to new ideas, you have no chance. So yeah. if you want to have a chance, 
I mean, keep on studying, girl. <laughs> uh, now we're going to eat something to be ready for the day. The bells are on the way to explore Austin. We're going to walk a little and then probably catch an Uber to some shopping malls, to the domain. Because we want to see some different shops than the ones we see in San Angelo. Which are not bad, but just we want to see something else. Look at else. the trees. Look at this nice atmosphere. You like it? Yes. And how, what's your first impression, Lucy? I like it here. You like it here? What do you like? <laughs> Uh, I like, yeah, that we see trees, honestly, like it sounds stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds stupid, but honestly, it's nice. And there is hills. And there so is it's also, not flat I like mean, in it's, it's Yeah, it's like San Francisco. You probably cannot see it, but it goes like up, down. And, and the uh, people, no. There is people in the street, which is unusual for us. <laughs> yeah, it's more, it's more going on. I think we went this way, ladies. We're here with the nice buildings, getting some pictures in. <laughs> If you've seen our last video about Austin when we went with Thanksgiving, you could see we went for free on a bus ride. Guess what? This time again. Again. <laughs> and the reason why was because they only accepted one dollar and five dollar bills, no card, nothing. But we had just tens and twenties, so it was like, I got you, I got you. So here we are. Finding out what, what bus we stepped into. <laughs> but why, do, why are we lucky? No, we are lucky. <laughs> this bus actually goes in the, in the north completely of Austin. That's where we wanted to go. So that's it. So basically, so basically we're saving an Uber bus. Uh, Uber ride for like yeah, $20. Know, or $40. Yeah, back in there. Back. Yeah. We made it to the domain shopping center and we're gonna see some well, shops. Not yet, but I was the one who wanted to get a frozen yogurt and guess what? I just had to pay like 366 but the others woo, they don't even want to talk about it. They put their cup so full. I think they got so excited. Too excited. What did you get? Everything, everything, <laughs> honestly, everything in the shop. Andrea, two hours ago, I don't need a top. Hey, so we just bought some stuff in Forever 21. <laughs> <laughs> and it's super hot and sunny because I have big jackets. We love it. <laughs> and Austin came. Oh. He is from Austin. Austin's hey. name. Austin from Austin. Us. Get up too very much. Okay. You picked us up and now we're on our way to um, a restaurant with a good view for sunset. So I'm excited. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. Of course it's like an hour and a half waiting right <laughs> waiting line, right? Well we're uh, not gonna do it. Plan no, B. Uh, no yeah, definitely going upstairs. Third floor now. Third floor brewery. Instead of the Oasis company restaurant, look at you still with this. <laughs> we're gonna be cold. It's like 70 degrees outside. But whatever. What are we doing? We move. What are we doing? We're doing fashion. I mean, what, what are, are we doing? doing? <laughs> what are we doing? That's the restaurant. That's the restaurant where there was a waiting line for one and a half hours. <laughs> yeah. This is the view. Well, you can see all of Austin. Alright, so yeah, this is like probably more south Austin, south and west ish Austin. Everything above going up from Round Rock down. Plus you get to Austin, you get downtown and all that. And you want to go further, a little bit west or south, you're going to hit Barton Springs and a lot of the area of Drifting Springs, that hill country. That's where, instead of the flat land we're used to, all the city life, 
they start to give me stuff where you got elevation where we're good probably 70 80 feet above the lake right now probably even like 100. this is massive and it's huge and it stretches on forever back there it's all really nice houses that i can't afford right there water towers it's lovely you will you will one, one, day, <laughs> one day one day Back to the other friend's place. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna play some cards. We had a good time over there seeing the sunset and everything. Absolutely. Yeah, so what's the plan? Like, we're gonna play some cards yeah, and then, then, then uh, walk a little downtown. Not go to bed. Life? I don't think so. No, not that actually. <laughs> because, not um, no, too, yeah, not 21. And tomorrow, <laughs> I need, and I need to drive back home tomorrow. We need to drive back home tomorrow. <laughs> Like, like, so obvious, like, look. And I was like, yeah! And I was like, that's cute, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so when you're so excited, you want to wear it during the evening, you just don't think of your cards. No, I don't know how much you after, after playing cards, we decided to go outside, walk a little bit. Because then we can see the, um, the impression of the night. Well, it's a little bit before 10, and we're just gonna walk a little bit. And um, yeah, because I need to sleep early tonight. <laughs> Hey guys, it's day two. We're on our way to get a coffee or tea, and afterwards we're gonna get breakfast. Where are we gonna get it? Uh, a side place. An a side place. And this night was daylight saving day, so the clock went back for one hour, so we could sleep one more hour. It's exciting. Bowl. What did you get? The beach bowl. It's so good. It's so refreshing. Good breakfast. We love it. Are you familiar with like the Adobe Suite? Yeah, Texas is Austin has a fun fact. Texas is wild. In all 49 other states and territories, whatever have you, of capitals, all the Lady Liberties up top all face toward Washington, D.C. like a union. And then there's Texas, which faces the opposite of DC towards the Mexican border to where I watch over. Texas is something else. <laughs> and we're the only state that can hold our flag the same height as the American flag. Yeah, no. That's what I heard. Because why? Because why not? Because we, because we declared independence, yeah. And 1836. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Texas. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well wow. So, um, the advantage of being with locals in the city is that we actually found out a lot about the history of Texas, like politics, yeah, economics, the African American side of it, civil war, the Mexican side of it. So, it's uh, very educational. I'm gonna watch this. Being with those folks. Now we're on our way to the yeah, library yeah, where kind of Chandler always, not always, but most. Yeah. Sometimes goes and like <laughs> yes. reads some books and everything. So he's, he has like a spot where he thinks there's a good view, and that's where we're heading to because we're all about those views, right? Yeah. Austin is gonna take off here. He's coming to our home matches. I'll be there. First game of the season, I promise you that. That's good. And he's gonna promise, promises. Yeah, no, okay, if I don't show up, I'm dead. <laughs> and you're gonna bring some signs, I heard. Yeah, no, I'm making, I'm gonna make signs. I'm gonna paint my face blue and gold. I don't know about that. 
No, that attitude. Alright. I'm going all out, man. It was cold as hell last time, too. I remember. Yeah, I'm going to be. Woo! Yeah, pour it! Like, to accept the consequences and all the things. It'll really change your perspective. The library was closed once we got there. It just opened at 12 and we were there at 11.15. So we made some pictures, some more pictures. And we had a good spot to sit, just relax from all the walking we did. And we got some drinks so we could hydrate ourselves. And now we're in the library, it's 12. We're gonna get some food and it's free birds. Uh, big portions. Big portions. I did it and then I ate the. Thanks for your hospitality. Uh, it was a pleasure. Um, always happy to see new people and get new experiences. Austin's already a diverse place, but I uh, got a little taste of Europe. Um, so increase my diversity tenfold. <laughs> Very happy to be a host. Uh, it's always great to show people around the city and show them the environments because uh, I was in those shoes not too long ago. I'm new to the area still. I'm still learning things, still getting to, used to adapting to these places. And so uh, being able to show people around and teach them things that I've learned has really helped me deepen my understanding or deepen my understanding of, of Austin and the city and the environment around me. Um, so thank you guys for coming out. I really appreciate it. Good luck with your tennis. Thank you.